Hey gang, this is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, where my goal is to help you cook your fresh catch over a thousand different ways. Today, we're gonna to be continuing our Tuna War recipe series with recipe number three, and I'm so excited about this one. It is tuna taquitos. Now, I've grown up eating taquitos just probably like you all my life. But a few years back, I was fishing and camping all throughout Baja, and in the Bay of LA, we gave some of our fresh catch to some of the locals, and one of them, Juanita, came back to our camp later on that night with some fish taquitos. Oh my God, we went out of our minds. She even brought over some guacamole. So, in honor of that experience and Juanita, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make tuna taquitos with an unbelievable guacamole. So hold on, here we go. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is make the guacamole. And the reason we're making the guacamole is so that after we create it, we'll allow all those flavors to blend and marry and get to know each other in the refrigerator while we continue to create our taquitos. So let's go. So let's get an avocado. Now I've got a cucumber, a large cucumber with the seeds and that's actually important because this guacamole is going to be a little bit on the watery side, kind of like a thick soup. So I actually want all the water that's retained in these seeds. So this is a cucumber. By the way, the Mexicans use pepino or cucumber in all kinds of drinks and sauces. So this is fairly common. Uh, one bundle of cilantro, nice and, and washed, dirt free. Let's get one serrano pepper for a little bit of heat. And the juice of one lemon. Now for a little bit of salt. and some cracked pepper. Wow. As you can tell, I love pepper. Okay. Okay, it's time to sample, it's time to taste. Never want to use your guests or your family as guinea pigs. You always need to taste as you cook. You'll hear me say that a million times. Oh, just a little more salt. And you know what I'm gonna add? I, I can, as I'm tasting, I'm wondering, I need a little bit more acid, so I'm actually gonna add a lime. So let me get a lime, hold on. And I reflected on the taste, it needed a little bit more salt, but it also needed that acid, that additional kick, that acid that keeps you coming back for more. So I've got one lemon, one lime. And, and you know, that's how cooking goes. That's how cooking goes. You have to be willing to taste and to make adjustments as you cook. Oh, now that's the consistency I want right there. Like a nice thick pea soup. Perfect. Now let's taste it. Oh yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. Oh, and a little bit of that heat from that serrano pepper, this is it. So now's the fun part. We're gonna take our frozen bluefin tuna and we're gonna grind it up because I need ground fish for my taquitos. My hands are getting cold, I'm gonna rinse them off. And there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna chop up some green onions. These onions will add a little bit of texture to the taquitos and they'll just turn out perfect. Okay, I'm gonna add the juice of a lemon. Okay, I'm gonna add a little salt, Opa, a little black pepper. And then I remember from uh, the Bay of LA with Juanita's taquitos, she had cumin in there. Okay, I'm gonna go with about a half a teaspoon of cumin. I love the flavor of cumin, but I don't want it to overpower the fish. Okay, so now it's time to mix. I'm just looking for color. There we go. Perfect. 
Now you've probably seen this before. This is a tortilla warmer. So what happens is you put your tortillas in here, you close up the, sh the, the lid, the tortillas continue to steam and continue to get more and more pliable. So you need one of these. Now all we have to do is stuff these tortillas, roll them up, put them in the frying pan, and we'll be in heaven very soon. Very soon. So it looks like three quarters of a pound. We'll get a six jumbo size taquitos and probably eight regular size taquitos. Oh, by the way, I've got my fire going already. I've got about a half an inch of oil in the frying pan that's getting heated up because these things are ready to put in there right now. It's just that easy and fast. Okay, when you put them in the frying pan, you're gonna put them in like this, sitting just like that. So when they uh, form up, they'll seal exactly like that. So let's uh, let's get ready for the frying pan. Okay, it's time to put them in. Love the sound of that sizzle. So I've got six, I'm gonna do three at a time. In a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Oh, perfect. Wow, look at that. See how if you start them on the bottom, they'll stay sealed just like that. Perfect. Oh my God. Almost done. Oh, that one's done. This one's done. done. That one's done. This is called cojito cheese. It's got a little salty bite to it. I love this stuff. You can find it anywhere. Anyway, so let me, uh, let me, Grate some of this up and we'll be in heaven, believe me. Okay, we've, we've got the taquitos, we've got the guacamole, we've got the cheese. Oh my God, my favorite, favorite, favorite part. Oh, let me see. Oh my God, here we go. Okay, okay. Goodness, plenty of guac here. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. All right, boys and girls, this is it. Fish taquitos, tuna taquitos. Uh, just another recipe in this tuna war series of recipes that I came up with. Oh my god. Listen, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments, just fill them down below and I'll get to them just as soon as I can. And then bounce over to our Facebook page, like our page, send us a friend request, keep in touch. If you have any questions about cooking fish or just cooking in general, I'll answer them as soon as I can. We'll see you guys soon. Take care.